My name is Tom Mosher. My wife, Mary, and I have been participating in Habitat Builds for five years. This is actually our fifth one. We're going to do another one uh, in a few weeks, so this uh, puts us on an average of one per year. We lived in Spokane, Washington for about 36 years, and we recently, a year and a half ago, sold our house, and we're living in our RV except for a winter, small winter home we have in Mesa, Arizona. Our RV is uh, a Harney Renegade Classic, which is a 39-foot diesel-powered motorhome. It has two slides, uh, allowing us to have an expanded bedroom and an expanded living room kitchen area. We've had this unit for uh, going on three, actually going on four years now, and it's our fifth motorhome in about 12 years. Why so many? Uh, we started out with 22 feet, and that was one that we took a little shorter. We spent five weeks in that in one winter, and then we moved, we needed more room, so we went to a 24-foot one, and we spent uh, six to seven months in that one, and then we were moving up to eight to nine months of the winter season, and we moved to a 28-foot, and then we took a, a 10-month trip in that and decided we really needed to have a bedroom space because we didn't really have separate hours. Um, I got stay up late, Mary doesn't, so it was convenient to have a bedroom space. And if somebody gets sick or somebody gets ill, well, it gives a, um, a getaway space to have a second room, and that's why we're at. And the last two motorhomes then have been with a bedroom and um, the living room kitchen area, if you would, for space. Uh, it's, it's been delightful. We did stay a week in the area between Swim and Port Townsend and visited Port Townsend and Swim and the Olympic National Park, and since we so we got a little bit of background in the area, and we had friends, RV friends, who went off the road and lived in Port Towns, and they entertained us one evening. And since we've been here at the fairgrounds, we have uh, enjoyed the um, oh, the friendliness of the people in the local area and m many of the local spots for food and entertainment, and um, loved the homes, the neo-Victorian and the true Victorian homes that are here. I retired at age 55 in 1997. Um, we, I, I was particularly, myself, was involved in a lot of uh, commissions and boards and things like that when I was working as a full-time resident in one spot. And when I retired, naturally, people wanted me to get involved more heavily in these things, but we had plans to start RVing. And you can't, you can't make a commitment to, to commissions and boards and things like that if you're not around. So. After about three years, we discovered caravanners, and we thought, well, that'd be a good way to give back to the community. We've been very fortunate in our lives; everything seems to have gone our way, and this is our chance, in with our lifestyle, our mobile lifestyle, to be able to give something back to the community, even if it's not specifically in the community that we spent most of our life in. I retired as a urban and regional planner with an environmental uh, planning emphasis, and uh, being a resident of Spokane is what I was referring to. And that um, came from me with a background, uh, an architecture degree, a year and a half in engineering school, and then a graduate degree in urban and regional planning. Vaguely familiar with building from architecture school, but that was, I graduated in 1966 in architecture, so that's 40 years ago. The most hands on building I've ever done had been on habitat sites. One of the interesting things that happens to us, uh, my wife Mary and I are Unitarian Universalists. Uh, Mary considers herself uh, an atheist. I consider myself uh, a deist or monotheist, um, s somewhat of a, a belief in God, but not in uh, Jesus as the Trinity. Yeah. So Habitat is a Christian mission, and we respect that, we recognize that, and we know that when we're on a Habitat build, we're going to be in um, a Christian environment with other folks who are of, of that persuasion. But we also find there are many people um, who just remain silent and are um, just stand in the background with respect to the spiritual or religious part of it. Uh, Mary and I have been forthright about um, our beliefs, and we have, at every build we've been on, have been offered to um, give one or more devotional uh, beginnings of the day. And we kind of share our spirituality. We respect the other spirituality of clearly the majority of people, but the assumption is always there that everybody is of the Christian faith. And the point that I make is, and would like to make to other people, is that that isn't true, probably 80% of our, but there's probably 15 to 20% of persons that are not of the Christian persuasion or spiritual belief. And my 
encouragement to these people who are not of the Christian persuasion is that this is a good environment to come into. Uh, we've only found once that there was a, an over that there was kind of an overwhelming emphasis on the religious part of it, and and that's one out of five five builds, and that was only for two or three days of that time. So my encouragement is to persons to not stand back if they're interested in habitat uh, that. A religious issue shouldn't be something that keeps somebody away because it's a positive experience and most people seem very respecting of persons uh, of different faith and particularly if you're not Christian people seem to acknowledge that, accept that and go about their business. The thing I've liked in this build is the, it's probably the smallest town that we have been in and the, the whole community seems to know that we're here. Uh, if I go into a store with my habitat tag on, uh, people, uh, whether they're clerks or even people in a restaurant, say thank you for being here, thanks for helping us out. And it's been uh, widely supported by the churches. This is the first time we've actually gone to different churches, five different churches, uh, for um, a breakfast and uh, our lunches are provided by those same churches and that's been warming and welcoming we're so appreciative of, of that. The um, atmosphere in the town um, it has been generally friendly whether or not you would be a habitat person or not so all in all it's been a real positive experience. Nice community. Five-year five -year plan I would say uh, we have probably loosely defined would be to I'm just turning 65, so probably for the next five years, three to five years anyway, we will be doing something similar to this, being home-based in Arizona in the winter where my 94-year-old mom and my sister and her family live, and uh, traveling in the summer months to other places. Last year we were in Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. This year, this summer, we're in the Pacific Northwest, including another habitat built in Gresham, Oregon that will be coming up in about a month. And our children, uh, one in Seattle and one in Portland, or other reasons is to focus on the Northwest. So from Tom and Mary Mosher, uh, we're delighted to be here. We'll look forward to uh, contacts in the future and other builds in the future and uh, see everybody down the road if they get a chance. We get a chance to say hi again.